Oh yeah, I, you know, I always had dreams of making it that far, especially getting to watch my uncle there. When I was, shoot, what was I, was nine or 10, I guess when he was making the finals. So that was always cool. I, I knew I wanted to do it. I knew I wanted to, at that time I wanted to rope calves. Um, and I was a calf roper, 100%, um, until like my sophomore year of high school when I started bulldogging. My uncle told me, he said, whenever we start bulldogging, you'll throw your rope away. And, and I have. It was something that kind of came natural to me. I had to really work at roping calves and was pretty good at roping calves. But like I said, I really had to work at it. And uh, steer wrestling, it just came natural to me. I enjoyed practicing. Steer wrestling was something I could really enjoy doing while I was practicing and, and enjoyed getting better doing it too. You roll your ankle in another profession, you get to take two games off. If we don't compete, we don't make money. You know, we don't get to make a living. I'm not downplaying what those guys do. What they do is amazing. And they are they are absolutely 100% athletes. Um, there's a lot of people that take that platform of being a professional athlete and use it in negative ways. As professional cowboys, we never really get to making millions and millions and millions of dollars. So it kind of keeps us humble, in my opinion. And I'm not saying all those athletes are that way, but there's darn sure some that, that, that take a, take a, you know, maybe they take it for granted. Yeah, I mean the finals, man. You know, there's, especially in, in Vegas, it's it's uh, there's a lot of juice running through that building. So the first few I ran there, I felt really, I was very comfortable, but but definitely, definitely knew what was going on and, and knew how high stakes it was. And then, uh, you know, had a chance to win the gold buckle in 18. And, and Will Loomis, he's first in the average, he's second in the world, and he's drawn a steer that nobody wanted. They haven't caught him yet in two tries, and his moment has come. Whether that played a factor in it or not, you know, you, you, I don't really know. But. He's gonna get him caught right here, guys. Look at that. Oh, oh man! No. Oh, man, I thought he had the, all the hard part done, and so did he. Could have done my job better, kind of had a crappy steer, but I don't know, I don't think that nerves necessarily played, played a role in it, but you make your own luck, we like to say, but again, you get a steer that, I mean, you know, sure enough, some good bulldoggers tires and had missed him that year, and Kyle Irwin had missed him, and it just, just bad luck, you know? And, should I called him? Yeah, probably. I had a better lay at him than them guys, but you know, it's, I can't go back and run him now, so.